this is part of who we are as human beings. This is part of who we are as a species. And I think there's some evolutionary components to that. Now, it's always hard to prove scientifically things are evolutionary, but think back to original man. We didn't have charts and graphs to tell us, okay, this stuff's poisonous and this stuff's not. No power. We had to tell stories to each other to keep yeah. us, keep us alive. Yeah. You know, don't go into that area. That's where the tiger lives, you know, and stay away from that. That's how we communicated to each other. That's how we connected as a species. And so I think evolutionarily there's, there's part of that that's still within us. But more recently, there's been a lot of people that have done research specifically around the impact of storytelling on our brains as human beings and how we connect. Uh, there's a great research study done by Yuri Hassan at Princeton, who using functional MRI uh, tracked the brain function of the storyteller and the brain's function of a story listener. And what he found is as the storyteller started to tell the story, the listener's brain activity would start mimicking the storytellers. Interesting. It, it, it'd start connecting. And it'd be, be just right behind it. But as the story progressed, and as people listened to the story, the listener's brain caught up to the storytellers, and they were syncing with each other. Nice. nice. And, and so if, if you want to connect with people, if you want to sync up, with with people, whether it be your team or a big audience that you're that you're talking to, or somebody you're trying to sell something to, storytelling is a great way to do that because you're going to get yourself in sync with that person. 